In this series, we have discussed the 72-year evolution and history of Marvin the Martian. But what we have yet to cover is the evolution of the character's voice, given life by a surprisingly large number of voice artists over the years. Marvin only ever appeared in five Golden Age Warner Brothers cartoons, holding the title of one of the most underutilized Star Looney Tunes of all time, and only becoming a fan favorite in later years. Legendary voice artist Mel Blanc was of course the man to lend his voice to Marvin throughout these early shorts, continuing to reprise the role sporadically in television appearances and revival shorts up until his death in 1989. When we take a look at Blank's portrayal, notice how it takes a couple of shorts for him to finally hone his voice. Following the 1980s, Marvin's appearances became highly sporadic, featuring mainly in cameo appearances in TV series and shorts, though seeing more significant roles in movies and his own headline short in 1997. Over this time, the most prominent voice actors to take over the role were Joe Alasky, who voiced the character intermittently between 1991 and 2008 in more appearances than any other except for Blank and Eric Bowser, the current voice of the character who has voiced him across numerous series, commercials and video games. Throughout Marvin's sporadic appearances over the years, some of the most noteworthy loony voice actors have taken up the mantle in smaller appearances, including Bob Bergen, Jeff Bergman, Rob Paulson, Greg Burson, Samuel Vincent, Maurice LaMarche and animator Eric Gold. In this video, we will explore all these voice artists who have brought Marvin to life in major productions, including shorts, television series and specials, and theatrical films. While I don't often cover video games here, Marvin has seen notable artists voice him specifically in the medium, so we'll briefly touch on them as well. Without further comment from myself, I will allow the voice artists to guide you through Marvin's voice evolution in this companion edition of Cartoon Evolution. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, I'm going to blow up the earth. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, dear, this is most inconvenient. Now I'll have to call out the reserves. <laughs> uh, go get that earth creature and bring back the uranium P-36 explosive space modulator. You make me very angry. <laughs> very angry. Oh, goody, another uranium peel 36 explosive space modulator. Isn't that wonderful? Now we can blow up the earth. <laughs> we must capture a live earth creature, K9, and take it back with us to Mars. Isn't that a nice assignment? Hmm? And earth creatures tracks. Isn't that lovely? Oh dear, now I suppose I shall have to use force. That is an interplanetary flying space saucer. We are returning to Mars in it. Yes, isn't it delightful? Oh, that wasn't a bit nice. <laughs> you have made me very angry. <laughs> very angry indeed. Oh. Mutiny makes me so angry. I claim this planet in the name of Mars. Mm, isn't that lovely? Mm, I do believe you are right. Oh, thank you. At last, after 2,000 years of work, the Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator. The Earth? Oh, the Earth will be gone in just a few seconds. Oh, uh, I'm going to blow it up. It obstructs my view of Venus. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. The Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator. That creature has stolen the space modulator. Oh, goody. My Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator. Well... Back to the old drawing board. If he thinks he's going to beat me to Tangrilla, he has another thing coming. We Martians prefer mixing Tang by the glass full. So is ours, and we serve it cold. It's great for breakfast or any thirsty old time. This planet is not big enough for both of us. <laughs> where'd he go? Where'd he go? Let me at him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hmm, yes. Very curious. Very interesting. I'm not angry just terribly, terribly hurt. 
Brace yourself for immediate disintegration. Being disintegrated makes me very angry. <laughs> very angry indeed. Begging for mercy makes me angry. Well, that's the old electronic brain. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. Are you from the Earth? How interesting. I'm just about to solve the Earth's fuel problem. It's quite simple. I'm going to blow it up. Don't worry, folks. After all, it's only a cartoon. Oh, how simply dandy. I've captured another Earth creature. Oh, isn't that lovely? Hugo will be so happy to have a playmate. You know how lonesome he gets. One of my greatest inventions, the Acme Super Rack and Pinion Tranquilizer Carrot. He looks so tranquil and peaceful. Hugo will adore him. Ah, another successful transformation. Yes, isn't that lovely, Marsha? Hmm? Yes, do please occupy yourselves in some manner. Hmm? You didn't say I couldn't zap you. <laughs> oh, for joy. It's a missive from the Intergalactic Court of Last Resort. They're finally going to hear my case against the planet Earth. Well, now we get to blow them up. But it has to look legal. This insignificant planetoid has been found guilty of crimes against the universe, so I humbly submit that we blow it up. You have made us very angry. The Illudium Pu-36 Explosive Space Modulator! At long last, I have captured a perfect specimen of an operatic Earthling, Frogius Todai. How delightful! How saleable! Oh, goody, goody gumdrops! He speaks Martian, too! Isn't that dandy? I'm scanning the galaxy for signs of hostile anti Martian activity! Isn't that delightful? Plots to blow Mars into subatomic space dust make me very angry. Very angry indeed. K9, prepare the Illudium Pew 38 dimensional disintegrator. Greetings, Earthling. Are you ready? Hello, Earthling. Mr. Fudd has chosen to call you for help because his brain is smaller than a Denebian sand flea. To play, who wants to be a Martian heir? I present Her Excellence, the Queen of Mars! I will steal Duck Dodger's brain. Oh no, I will replace his brain with my specially created mechanical mind. It will allow Dodgers to function on a rudimentary level while I unlock the mysteries of his psyche. Home sweet home, how I miss you at the holidays. But it's Christmas Eve and I miss my family. Oh goody goody. Bon voyage, space boy. Oh, you make me so very angry. Oh, you make me very happy. Ooh. How dare someone attack my spacecraft without reason? Attacking a spacecraft without reason is what I do. Good idea. I won't destroy your planet. I'll shrink everything on it and add it to my collection. I have something for you. A uranium Pu 36 explosive space modulator. Now take it. Oh well, I suppose it's all part of roughing it on an alien planet. Now for a little outdoor cooking. Won't that be delightful? No, mm -hmm. oh, darn the luck. I seem to have left the electron match igniter in the tent. Now you wait here like a good barbecue. Now, now, don't be silly. Come here and open your mouth. Very well. I'll simply override your option mechanism. Greetings, Earth Dog. Uh, boom. Oh, no. Boom. Ready? Time. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, your airness, but if you don't find a fifth player, your team will forfeit the game. Precisely, Sir Altitude. Let's all play fair. Here. I love the smell of Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator in the morning. Hmm. This is most unsettling. Tonight, I consider myself the luckiest Martian on the face of Mars. Oh, goody. Birthday Ken. Those 
I have an Iridium Q39 reactive modulator, which I'm going to use to blow up the Earth. Oh dear, that Earth creature has dinged my Acme Little Giant space vehicle. Now I shall have to regrettably disintegrate him. Disgusting Earth rodent. Now to neutralize that dirt. Now the diamond will bathe the Earth in a monkey transforming glow. Sporting evil makes me so angry. <laughs> If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Not just any Martian. Marvin the Martian. It's quite simple, really. The Earth obstructs my view of Venus. I know. It would be a lot easier just to blow it up. But I seem to have misplaced the Illudium Q36 space modulator. Oh, goody. I am so angry. Or I could, uh, just plug you in. <laughs> Common mistake. hi -yo! I'm dependable, hardworking, and a team player. Let's just say I would handle the problem. Making pizza. Ooh! You're drunk with power! <laughs> Poor deluded super rabbit. Your might is no match for my mind. Oh goody! I got him! I got him! I got him! How to eliminate Earth, you troublesome little planet! Earth shattering is my job, not yours! Prepare to be disintegrated! What? Mind if I use my own ball? The dunk to end all! What if I use my boom boom laser? Pew! Bye bye, puny little planet. Carry on then. Wait a minute. I polished that last week. Uncard. Well, that takes care of one thing. Sorry, but I'm very busy at this time. A picnic? Let's go. Potato salad. Oh, goody, goody. I could survive for the rest of my life on potato salad. I could have potato salad for breakfast, potato salad for lunch, and potato salad for dinner. Oh, look at me. I'm eating potato salad and saying potato salad. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.